Example 2. Is the following a function and what is its domain and range? First, is it a function? What do you think? Well, we can certainly do the vertical line test. And we have a double hit here. Two y values when x equals 1. If we have more than one y value for a given x value, we know that it's not a function. It's still a relationship, but this is not a function. So the next part, what is its domain and range? Now this graph is a little different. Instead of a nice curve, we have a bunch of points. In a curve situation, the graph exists at all of the values that the line passes through. When we have separate points like this, the relationship only exists at these exact points, not between. So to define the domain and range, we'll need to identify the exact x values and the exact y values where these points sit. Then we can include them in a list that we'll surround with these curly brackets. Let's begin. This point is at x equals negative 1 and y equals plus 2. The x goes into the domain list and the y goes into the range list. This point is at x equals 0 and y equals 3. So the x goes into the domain list and the y value goes into the range list. This point is at x equals 1 and y equals 3. The x goes into the domain list and the y goes into the hmm. We already have a 3 in the range, so we don't need to list it twice. The value 3 is part of the range. We already know that. This point is at x equals 1 and y equals 1. And we can see that we already have a 1 in the domain list. So we can skip that. And the y goes into the range list. On to the last point. x equals 2 and y equals 2. The x goes into the domain list and we can see that we already have a 1 in the range list. So we can skip that and we'll arrange them in order just to make things look nicer. And we're done. So to answer the original question, we have three parts. This one is not a function. The domain is a list of values, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And the range is also a list of values, 1, 2, and 3.